first time outside of the courtroom, we're seeing photographs of former Congresswoman Corrine Brown that jurors saw. That jury found Brown guilty on 18 of 22 counts last week. Action News Jack's Jenna Bourne reports the pictures are images taken from surveillance video. This is the first time the photos you're looking at now are being shown to the public. Now that the trial is over, we got these exhibits through a public records request. These surveillance images show Corrine Brown making bank transactions, a likely blow to her defense, which insisted her chief of staff, Ronnie Simmons, controlled her finances. As for Simmons, the jury saw 40 images of him withdrawing money from so called bogus charity One Door for Education. The FBI testified that cash would repeatedly appear minutes later. In Brown's account. It's been nearly a week since Brown learned the jury's verdicts, but the jury has been far from silent. We told you on Monday a juror texted a courtroom deputy about dismissed juror number 13, saying, I just heard on the news about juror voting not guilty on all charges because of Holy Spirit telling him so. I don't know if it matters, but that is not true in the partial vote we had taken prior to removal. We learned on Tuesday afternoon in this new court document that same juror sent a second text message Monday night to clarify, quote, meaning he stated that before any evidence was brought into the room. Reporting Jenna Bourne, CBS 47, Action News Jack.